you've got a brand new car coming out this year, right? Absolutely, we have a, we have a new supercar and it's the first time we're actually producing a full ever full EV supercar. So it's our electric division that was going to be under, under W Motors. And we decided uh, um, by the end of last year that it's time now to switch the company from being a conventional, traditional manufacturer to a tech and EV oriented brand. Now it doesn't mean the Finier or the other cars won't be won't, won't be there on the country. They're, they're ongoing for the next four to five years. We're even upgrading cars. We're going to have the two different lines, the conventional the ICE engines, which are be let's say till 2025, 26, will still be prominent in our market. But we're still going to have a parallel line, which is the full EV supercar that's coming out by end of this year. Now, this EV supercar is really special. Now, it's an evolution in design, even beyond what we have from the Lycan to the Finier, but even this one has something really more advanced. We wanted to go a bit crazy in what we can offer to the world to show the future style of W Motors. Uh, in personality, the car has a really strong personality when it comes to the specs of the car, to what it's offering inside and outside. Uh, production units, we're talking 500 plus units, uh, depending on demand. Price range, we're starting at around $600,000 up to the 900 something thousand dollars, so we're giving something more affordable, like we mentioned earlier. And in performance, it's a car that goes up to 1,600 horsepower with four motors, zero to 100 and below the two seconds. So it's really something that's out of this world. And this will be fully produced once it's ready in the factory in Dubai. We're gonna be assembling the batteries here. So it's gonna be a battery cell assembly locally in Dubai, a motor, electric motor assembly in Dubai under our brands. So we're gonna be creating a lot of opportunities to maybe in the future start making batteries, we don't know. But this product itself, the electric EV, let's call it, electric super, I'm gonna give you the name now. Um, most of the team don't know the name actually, I'm okay. the only one that knows <laughs> it. So uh, let's call it Wolfie. Wolfie is a good name. So, so the Wolfie that's coming out, uh, is not only a race car, it's also a car that you can drive every day, um, but it's going to open up the connected technologies we're developing for the car itself and the company. So the idea is to open the visions around the car to start developing technologies, softwares, applications, and this is going to be the focus that the company is going to grow, to see that the car is going to be a tool and the application is going to be the future. And putting them together is going to be the service and the comfort that you look for. It's a bit what the future is heading towards, and it's a bit what W Motors is heading towards, and uh, it's, it's an exciting future. When it comes to electric cars though, I'll put this to you, it's not necessarily about the car, it's about how far it can travel. So what's the range, the range. of this new electric car? Well, today with what we're putting in the car, we're targeting a range of around 450 kilometers uh, range, which is quite decent for a supercar with such a performance. Um, in the next few years, this, these batteries will evolve, and we believe we're going to reach a thousand kilometers with the same battery, same size, with a charging time that's below 10 minutes to charge at 80% with the supercharger. So everything is changing. But today the car manufacturers cannot say that this is what we have because it depends on the supplier, it depends on the developers that are behind it. And we're all in the same boat, just waiting for the new technology to come out to adapt in our vehicles. When am I going to see the Wolfie inside this showroom? <laughs> well, we're, we're trying to bring the car by end of this year, uh, let's say by November, December time to the UAE. Uh, for a private launch, then we're going to be doing some testing with the car around the, around the world, uh, hopefully breaking some records uh, with the car before its official launch uh, beginning of next year at the international show that's uh, usually the start of our road shows around the world. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.